I'm sure you know the AdLib in Soundblaster sound cards, which uses the OPL chip for FM sound. But did you know that before Soundblaster, we had the Creative Music System, or CMS for short. CMS used a sound chip that were dropped in later sound cards from Creative. The name of this chip was the Philips SAA 1099. Today we are reviewing the CMS LPT from Sadov Shop, which uses the same sound chip as those early Creative cards. So, what is so special about the CMS sound chips? Well, the name of the chip is Philips SAA 1099. It was used in the Creative Music System card from Creative Lab, which was released back in 1987. Creative also used the chip in Soundblaster 1.0 in addition to the OPL2 sound chip. In Soundblaster 1.5 and 2.0, they had sockets for these older chips, but the chips were sold separately. Since Creative used two of the SAA 1099 chips, we had a total of 12 channels of square wave stereo sound, including four channels for noise. Not bad for 1987. There were a few computers and arcade games that used this chip, but it was not in any way a commonly used sound chip. If you want to compare the sound to something that you know, don't compare it to AdLib or the OPL chip, but rather the SID from Commodore 64. The SID chip also uh, was a square wave uh, sound chip with a noise channel. The SID had a more distinct sound and could also create other waveforms than the square wave. But the CMS from Creative had two chips and stereo sound with a total of 12 channels. You can with good reason argue that they are not comparable, but it will give you an idea what type of sound we are talking about. CMS was supported by about 100 games according to Moby Games. The games are mostly from 1989 to 1991. So this music standard was uh, short-lived. Since uh, this is a print report version of the sound card, you must use the utility to redirect the sound to the printer port, just like we do on the OPL3 LPT and the Tandy LPT. You can check out my video on the OPL3 LPT, link is below. If you know how to use the OPL3 LPT or the Tandy LPT, you know how to use the CMS LPT. But don't leave yet, there are some tricks you need to know to avoid frustration. I know. Sadly, the CMS LPT driver requires a 386 machine or better. If the game has support for CMS on port 220, you start utility slash driver and then start your game. Easy. So what are those frustrations I talked about? Well, several games I tried did not work on the default port 220. This could be that it was in conflict with my sound blaster which uses the same port. But it could also be that the game is hard-coded to use another port. This has been discussed at Vogens.org, and a list of patches has been made. These lists tell you how to patch the game to work at port 210. I was lucky and found a web page where I could download all the games pre-patched for port 210. So now we need to unload the driver, CMS LPT unload, and start the driver again with port 210. So we type CMS LPT 210. That's it. We can now start the patched games. If you don't have a 386 or better, and you want to use the CMS LPT, you can use uh, Freddy Wee's Mod Master. Modmaster can play VGM files even on an 8086 machine. VGM or video game music is a sample accurate sound logging format for many machines and sound chip. Now for some more cool stuff. Modmaster do not only play the CMS files but also OPL, Tandy, 
and a lot more. And as we can see, it supports the CMS LPT, the OPL2 and the OPL3 LPT, the Covox and the Tandy LPT. I hope you liked this video. If you did, you will probably also like my other videos. So press like on my channel and check out my other videos. Thank you for watching. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have uh, trouble with noise uh, coming from the CMS LPT or any of the other LPT devices from Sada Shop, my best guess is to get a better 5 volt power supply. I tried this uh, four uh, USB adapters before one of them were good enough to use. And uh, actually a couple of those are, are good quality uh, uh, chargers from OnePlus and Lenovo, but still this uh, no-name uh, charger was uh, the best one. So if you have noise, just try with different uh, USB chargers and see what works best for you. Thank you.